Hey everyone, it's Insko here. Welcome back to another video. Today is episode 7 of Reaction Box. For those of you that don't know, Reaction Box is a series I started fairly recently where you submit songs and I react to them. I normally only ever react to new music every Friday, but we came up with the idea of doing Reaction Box so that I can listen to more music. Now normally, if you want to submit something, we have a Reaction Box channel in the Discord server. However, I'm about 7 episodes behind on Reaction Box right now. Myself, my mods and you lot have found some faults with the system as well. For example, almost every episode, there's a lot Hero song or a Seven Lion song or an Ophelia song. And I think people are kind of wanting a little bit more variety, including myself. So if you haven't already joined the Discord server, join it. There's a link in the description. But between now and the next couple of episodes, this is going to be series one of Reaction Box. And then we're going to take a short break, improve the system, and then come back for a season two. Without further ado, I've got another 10 songs to react today, so let's give them a listen. For the first track of today, we got a song by Jason Ross and Blank, and it's called One More Day with Chandler Layton. This song I have heard before, but I don't think I actually came across it when it came out on March of 26th, 2021. I, I heard it, I think, maybe like six months ago or something. First drop. I love that AB kind of thing on that. It's quite nice as well. It kind of feels a bit... I'd say it feels more blank than Jason Ross for me, but really nice melodic style. Not my favorite melodic bass drop, but still cool. And then it will just mood change, which is so expected with blank as well. I love that little vocal in the background too that's kind of panning. Drop two. So sick. It's that kind of like gritty sound. And that like stuttery effect. That's the kind of heavy drop that I love. And then going into the third drop, which is kind of melodic. Again, it's similar to the first drop, I think. Pretty much the same. Not really a fake out. It is cool. I do think it's a great track. It kind of has that gritty feel to the whole song. I give it an 8 out of 10. For song 2, we have a song by Tritonal, Dylan Matthew, and AU5, and it's called Happy Where We Are. This one came out November the 5th, 2020. I don't think I've heard this one before. I'm familiar with all of the artists on this, though, and Dylan Matthew has great vocals, too. Hey, first drop. Ooh. Feels more kind of like future bassy. Love those little vocals though, and how it kind of comes and goes. Nice, okay. That's cool. Feels a bit glidey too, that lead. That's really nice. It's a really weird sort of backing bass thing or lead thing here. Very strange. Okay, drop two. Oh, has a bit of grit to it. That's really nice, actually. That, like, underlayer just giving it a bit of, like, fullness. It's like the first drop's more melodic and has that, like, interesting vocal chop sort of in the gaps. And then the second half of it had, like, a gliding vocal chop thing. And then the second build-up had, like, that weird bass sound. And then in the drop, I think it kind of had a similar sound. It just gave it a bit more fullness. It wasn't super heavy, but kind of had, like, a heavy influence on it. It was quite cool. I'll give that an 8 out of 10 as well. For track 3, we have a song by Last Heroes, Arian, and Two Worlds Apart, and it's called Eclipse. This one came out October the 10th, 2018. So, like, three years ago almost. I don't think I've heard this before. Feels quite cinematic already, though. Okay, let's go. First drop. Ooh. That's a big sound. Nice, really nice. Like, I was just thinking maybe like I want the drums to come in a bit more, but I think they're good. Oh, 
I love just that like dramatic filter, big cinematic sound. Second drop. Oh. It's like double, double time on the uh, kicks. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. I want like a counter melody thing going on though. Because it feels dramatic, but I feel like I... It feels like there's a call, but no response almost. That was a really cool track though. I haven't heard Last Heroes do anything like that before. I'll give that one a 9 out of 10. For track 4, we have a song by Excision, Woolly and Halion, and it's called Erase You. This one came out September the 28th, 2020. I have actually heard this one before, I think. First drop... Love that top lead sound. And Halion's vocals are always so nice as well. I can't remember if this one has a heavy drop or not. I don't think it does. Which is surprising for Excision and Woolly. Drop two. Fake out. Really cool song. Doesn't really feel like it has a proper melody other than like that top lead kind of sound. I think I'd also give that one a 9 out of 10. I used to listen to it quite a lot. Track 5, we have a song by Slander, Said the Sky, and JT Roach, and it's called Potions. This one came out May the 31st, 2019. I have heard this one before as well. So nice. It's a very set the sky drop. Really cool. Like when you compare it even to his like newest stuff, that's that's like very set the sky. And then drop two. Fake out. So nice. It's nothing too big, but it's even like the drum sounds and also how it has like that sort of 808 type of bass thing and that like backing guitar. It's just all really said the sky. It's really cool. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 just because I have heard it a little bit too much, but it's still a good track. For song six, we have a song by Griffin and Slander, and it's called All You Need To Know featuring Kali Lehman, but it's the Jason Ross remix. This came out June the 14th, 2019. I haven't heard this. I know the original song because it was on Gravity. Okay, let's see whether this sounds like the Jason Ross I know now. Okay. Big sound. It's that kind of like simp sound though. Like where it doesn't really have a top lead or anything. Or just like a lead in general. Like a proper lead melody kind of thing. I guess that vocal in the back maybe. Second drop. Fake out. Oh, with the LFO. Nice. Yeah, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. Quite different from the original, but still kind of uses elements of it. It's quite nice. Yeah, that was actually a really well-made remix. I think I'll give that one a 9 out of 10. For track 7, we got a song by Danny Olsen, and it's called Waking Up featuring Becca Kruger. This one came out July the 8th, 2022. I don't think I've heard it, though. I think I came across Danny Olsen maybe slightly after this. Really nice vocals. I want a bit more reverb on him though. I want him to be like nice and big atmospheric kind of thing. Still nice though, the harmonies are cool. Okay, first drop. Wow. Kicks a bit boomy.
Still nice though. Still nice. Here we go. Drop two. Oh. Okay. Switching it up. That was an interesting take. I haven't ever heard a song do that before. Is it going to be heavier or is it just more dramatic? Just more dramatic. Okay. Ah, that's a bit of a letdown. Thought that's going to be something else. Uh. Still cool though. Like, this is a really nice track with the vocals especially. Has a lot of emotion to it. I think I'll give that one a 7 out of 10. It's a really cool track. The vocals have a ton of potential, but I feel like I want a bit more from it. For track 8, we have a song by Dabin, and it's called Bloom featuring Dire Frampton, but it's a Nerco remix. This one came out August the 30th, 2019. I don't know whether I've heard this or not before. I feel like I might have, but we'll see. I recognize it, but I don't know whether I just recognize it because I've heard the original. Okay. Nice. Very narco. I will say though, the vocal chops. Not not the vocal chops. That that vocal, the more upfront vocal, feels a lot more high endy and kind of like screechy than anything else in the drop so it feels a bit like a bit weird because those bits are more up front but they're also more like screecher and a bit more painful so it's i don't know it's cool other than that drop two nice like that to me has that like really high end sort of sound that's it could just be my headphones or the volume i'm listening to it at maybe i'm just being too harsh but it's still really cool i love that backing reverb vocal thing that's really cool and all of these feels as well it's very narco yeah it's a really cool remix i think that is my only criticism but i could just be being harsh I'll give it a 7 out of 10. For track 9, we have a song by Elenium, John Bellion, Said the Sky, and Annika Wells, technically. And it's Good Things Fall Apart versus Sad Songs. This one, again, I have heard before. It came out on Elenium's Ascend Tour edits, which came out on June 12, 2020. Love both of these songs, so the fact that there's like an edit of them both together is really cool. And how it goes. So smooth. So smooth. So sick. And then into the... Did I say something wrong? So cool. Such a banger. Both of the songs are really good. The whole of Ascend is a 10 out of 10 album for me. And then Good Things Fall Apart. This song is... I love John Bellion as well. I love John Bellion. Absolute classic. So good. Such a good song. It's just the same thing again, but it's like kind of poppy, but really sick. It's just one of those songs that just makes you want to sing it. It's so good. And then is it this bit that it goes into sad songs again? Or it goes, it does the, yeah, this bit. It's like, I don't think this section of this song or this mashup of songs is in any of the songs such a mixture this should have been the last track on uh, ascend just literally just throwing this on the end here we go last drop so sick for that like rpf feel But I don't think that drops in Good Things Fall Apart or Sad Songs. So it's just a completely new drop made for this. And then having these two vocals together as well, it works so perfectly. That's a 10 out of 10. It can't not be a 10 out of 10. And for the final track, track 10, we have William Black and Fair Lane, and it's called Butterflies featuring Di Frampton. This one came out February the 13th, 2020. I don't think I've heard this one before. Nice so far though, I love Di Frampton's vocals too. Okay, here we go into first drop. It's 
cool so far. Oh! Love that vocal chop lead. Definitely feels like William Black and Fair Lane, actually. Hey, going into a second drop. Oh, that vocoder. Really powerful track. The drums sit really well. I think that's going to get a 9 out of 10. I don't know how I haven't heard that one before. But yeah, that's the end of this episode of Reaction Box anyway. Make sure to join the Discord server with the link in the description. And make sure to let me know what your favorite track of this week was in the comment section down below. There won't be a Reaction Box episode next week because I'm taking my first week off of the year. Every now and then I just need a week to kind of recharge so I don't get burnt out. But I will see you on Friday for New Music Friday. But drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Insko and I hope you have a great week. Shut up.